What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jerome coming to you tonight with a review for How to Get Away with Murder. This is season five, this is episode number 12 and this episode was titled, We Know Everything. So we are literally just two episodes away from the season finale of How to Get Away with Murder. This was a good episode. So without further ado, we are just gonna start up with the review. All right, so this episode is pretty much continuation of where we stopped at last week, which was with New West been questioned by the FBI and you remember last week he told the FBI that Annalise was his lawyer so you know we saw t two different scenes play out in one you had the one scene where Annalise is still with the kids and the kids are questioning Annalise about why she's going to go represent New West and then we also had Annalise with the New West talking to him about the FBI so you know Annalise was telling the kids basically why she's doing it and I think the reason why Annalise is doing this is you know she, we don't know necessarily what the FBI wants with him, what they have on him, or, or what they think they have on him. So it's better for Annalise to be there to know what to ha they ha what they have on him and how she can, you know, defend him, but also protect them at the same time. So then we see um, Annalise with New West, and she's asking him, is he working with the FBI? And, you know, he tells her, um, you know, why he's there. And the reason why he's there is because he was the, he was the last person to talk to Miller, like, and you know before he went missing. And, you know she, he's telling her how you know the FBI is questioning him about you know Nate at the wedding, and you know she's like, "Well, did you see him?" And he said, "No." Um, he tells her what he you know, I forgot what he told her. So then um, you know we see Bonnie and we see um, Annalise questioning Bonnie, and Nate is there as well. And the reason why Annalise was questioning Bonnie is because, you know, um, New West said that he was he was um, an informant, basically, for Miller. And, you know, Annalise is like, you know, he played you. He was playing you. And Bonnie's like, we don't know that because we don't know anything about New West. So we don't know if we can trust him or not. And, you know, um, Annalise once again telling her that Miller used her. And she said the same way that the governor did you. She, and Annalise is like, you were right. The governor did play me and she did use me. Um, so now Nate has come up with the plan. And what Nate's plan is he wants to um, feed information to New West so that he can, go, he can go back and give it to the FBI to, you know, plant seeds of doubt about the governor. And Annalise is like, that's something that we, we don't know that this is something that's actually true. This is something that you are thinking is true so we don't 100 percent know that that's actually what really happened to um you know happened in this whole situation okay so i did forget to mention that annalise just says you know what i'm cool with it just as long as you know whatever we do does not lead the fbi back to us now speaking of the fbi remember last week's episode tegan called that fbi agent so this week we see tegan she's meeting with the fbi agent and you know the FBI agent wants to know if, she can, if Tegan can give her information on Annalise. And Tegan is like, Annalise, why would I give you information on Annalise? She said, I thought this was probably Jorge Castillo. And, you know, um, you know, the FBI agent, she just wants information from wherever she can get it at this point. And, you know, um, she tells Tegan, you know, once you find out something, come back to me and let me know what you find. So then we um, see Annalise. She's still with New West, and this time she signed on to be his lawyer. And, you know, um, she asks who contacted who. Did Miller contact New West or did New West contact Miller? He tells her that Miller contacted him. And, you know, um, so the kids, they're, so they're getting ready to go to court, and the kids think that these charges are made up, you know, so that they can um, get um, New West to be an informant. And then um, Asher is like, who would he inform, inform against? And they're like, us. Like, really, Asher? And, you know, um, so then we see Annalise. She's talking to New West, and she's asking, do the FBI know anything about you, about me, and about Sam? Do they know about the, the connection between the three of us? He says, no, that they don't know anything. So then she asks um, why he had a fake ID in the first place. So New West says the reason why he had a fake ID is because, you know, when he go to protest and they arrest him, they can, you know, charge him under a different um, alias. And so then we go to the courtroom and we find out what they're trying to charge him for. 
So they charge him for domestic terrorism. So then they have this photo of him and it looks like he have a, a he has a mask on and he has a I guess you know like one of those um grenade bombs in his hand and he throws it at him. So you know then um the judge she rules in favor of the um the FBI the FBI and you know um she um grant she um she set bail at one million dollars. I'm like, well, damn, who the hell can pay that shit? Like, he would be sending his ass in jail. All right, so next we see Frank. He is going over to um, Nate's place. So when he gets to Nate's place, he gives Nate a, a call log of all the numbers from, um, you know, Miller's burner phone. And then while Frank is there, he gets a call from um, Bonnie. When Bonnie calls him, Bonnie tells him, you know, the charges that uh, New West has been... Um, you know, charged with, which was a domestic terrorism, which Frank said they already knew. So then we also see Annalise. She is questioning the West about the photo. And she was like, is this you? He said, yes, it's me. And, you know, he said he was there protesting. She said, well, it doesn't look like you're protesting. He said what happened in that photo was they started throwing, um, you know, tear gas at the uh, people. So he reacted. And, you know, then Annalise is like, well, you know what? I need you to give me all of your passwords you know the passwords to you and your alias so then she gets the passwords and she she goes out there and to where the kids are and she tells them she wants them to go through his emails his text messages his tweets see what they can find and you know to call her at the office so then you know Michaela follows in behind her and she's like well you know if you go back to the office Tegan is there and you know where are we gonna say a Tegan and um Oh uh, yeah, she's well. She wants to know what they'll say to Tegan because Tegan's gonna want to know why they were so shady um, when it came to Nate. And then you know, um, Michaela says, "You know what? She'll take care of it." I'm like, "Oh, good God, Michaela, do not fuck this up." Like I, I, I had that, I had this feeling that somehow all of Michaela's meddling is just gonna fuck shit up in the end. But we're gonna see how. It all goes. right. So next we see Michaela. She's at Tegan's office, and you know, she's telling Tegan that the FBI is looking into Nate. Because uh, and she was like, "Why would the FBI? Why would the FBI be looking into um, Nate?" She says, "You know, it possibly could be because you know Miller lost the inquest, and the FBI think that Nate is pissed off, and you know has something to do with his disappearance." So you know, and she says, "That's why we didn't want you to um, file the civil suit." So um, then Emmett comes in, and you know he's asking, you know, why is Annalise defending one of her students? who's been charged as a domestic terrorist. And, you know, then we see Annalise. She's meeting with the others. And, you know, they're telling her what they have. And then Laurel lets Annalise know that she went through New West's um, recent um, text messages. And she was like, Laurel, I needed you to go through something that was old, not something recent. She said, well, you're going to want to see this. So then we see Annalise and Laurel. They are talking to New West. So what they have done is they've, take, they've printed out a copy of his text message log. So he texts his mom and Annalise is like, so you've been talking to your mother about me? He said, no, I haven't been talking to my mom about you. I've talked to my mother about um, Michaela. So Annalise is like, okay, prove it. So what Annalise did was she took her phone and she handed it to him. And she's like, it had his mama, his mama's name, Vivian Maddox on it. So she said, calling your mama, tell her the trouble that you've gotten into. So then he gets on the phone and he's talking to his mama and he's telling his mama that he's gotten into some trouble when it comes to Michaela. So that does prove his, you know, that he's telling the truth. So um, then we see a scene where Bonnie, she's at work and she's talking to, I, I think that's Miller's assistant. And, you know, she was just asking some questions about the governor. You know, did, did Nate know, I mean, not Nate, but didn't Miller know anybody at, you know, the governor's office? And, you know, the assistant's like, no, I don't know. any. I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I've never taken any phone calls from anybody from the governor's office, so I can't really say. So then while they're sitting there talking, um, the assistant gets a phone call from Miller's mom and she's like, I haven't heard anything, you know, just stay prayerful and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that he comes back. Okay, so then we see this scene where Frank and Nate, they're together. They're going through this call log of, from the, they're going through the call list that Frank showed Nate from Miller's burner phone. So, like I said, they're calling phone numbers, and one of the numbers that Nate called, it was a number that was no longer in service. 
So he hangs up the phone and I was kind of confused by this scene. I'm like, is Frank trying to sit here and ease Nate's guilt about what he did to Miller? Because, you know, he was talking about people have done this since the beginning of the time. And I'm just sitting here like, Frank, nobody wants to hear, sit here and hear this killer mumbo jumbo bullshit, but whatever. So then we see Bonnie. Bonnie has gone to visit Miller's mother. And, you know, she asked um, if she had any contact with, um, if Miller had anybody, any contact with the governor or anyone in his office, in, well, in her office. She says no, you know, and then she's had to think back, you know, well, there was that um, case, you know, with the opioids where, you know, when everyone found out that she was embezzling money, but she said, I didn't like her and, you know, neither did Miller. And then, you know, she's talking about when Bonnie and Miller got into their argument with one another. She says that Miller came to her house and asked for her engagement ring. And she's like, did he propose to you? And, you know, um, Bonnie's like, no, he didn't propose to me. So then she was like, um, you know, you know, um, I can't believe that God. I, I can't imagine that God would take Miller away from me just after my husband died. I'm like, well, shit. How, I mean, that's kind of bleak, but um he did sorry to tell you but yep he did who and you're looking at his killer just saying so then we see the fbi agent she comes in and you know she, um she comes in at where new west is and he says he's not talking without his lawyer present so then she mentions sam ben his father he's like i was waiting for you to drop that shoe and you know basically in a nutshell she wants him to be a snitch for her against annalise so then, you know, she leaves out to call Tegan and she left a, a voicemail for Tegan to, you know, contact her with whatever she can find out. So then um, Emmett, he's meeting with Annalise and he wants to do a press conference, you know, for this uh, case that she's, you know, dealing with. And Annalise is like, no, I don't want to do a press conference. And he's like, think about the publicity. She's like, I don't want that because that could make, you know, this go to trial and I don't want to do that. So, you know, Emmett is still trying to get her to do it. And she's like, no, we're doing it my way. Like, forget what you're talking about, not doing it. So then we see Annalise, she's with back with the kids. So Michaela has come up with a bright idea in her head. She's using um Oliver. So what they're and she wants, she knows how to keep Tegan quiet. So what she wants to do is send an email to Tegan to scare Tegan about her Jane Doe identity. So, you know, then Annalise asks, um, you know, Oliver, will this be traced back to us? And I think Oliver told her no. So I guess they're going to send this email to Tegan to scare the shit out of Tegan. We'll okay, see. so next we see Bonnie. She's in the kitchen and Frank comes in. So she asked Frank, did he find out anything? He, she said no. So when Frank is talking to her, she gets a text message from uh, Miller's mom. He says, so you went to meet with Miller's mom? And she was like, well, you didn't find anything. So I, you know, I did this on my own. And, you know, I'm like, you could have made matters worse, but OK. And Frank is like, you know, the next time you do want to do something like this, please let me know before you do it. So then we got the kids, you know, they are still looking into New West and they really haven't come up with anything. You know, Oliver is still going through the photos of the wedding day. He's trying to delete anything that has Miller and um, Nate in it. So then Connor tells um, uh, Michaela that, the, you know, the text message was not about Annalise, that it was about her, which that strokes her pretty little ego. And then, you know, Laurel's over there going over to nanny cam and, you know, they're like, what, we can't really use that in court because then we would have to tell how we actually got came up with this footage. So then we see them in court and, you know, Annalise is playing a race card and the judge is like, uh-uh, you're not playing that race card in my house. So, you know, then they pull up the footage of the nanny cam. So when they pulled up the footage of the nanny cam, you see an FBI agent. She has the, the evidence that the FBI has and she stuffs it under his bed. So um, then the governor's like, I'm not the governor, but the judge is like, are you going to waste my time and, you know, everybody else's time? So, you know, they, the government says, you know what, case is dismissed. So, um, then we see New West, he's outside of the courtroom and he's upset with the kids, you know, because of the nanny cam. And they're like, well, we didn't put it in there. It was actually Frank who put it in there. And, and Annalise comes out there and he, she was like, uh, instead of going off on them, you should be thanking their asses for what they did for you. 
So then, you know, um, Annalise tells him, you know what, take him back to y'all place and, you know, leave it at that. So then Michaela follows in behind Annalise and she's asking, has she heard anything about Tegan? And Annalise says nothing at this point, which is a good thing. So then back at Kaplan and Gold, we see Emmett. Um, he called Tegan to his office and once again, they're talking about Annalise. And, you know, um, when Tegan leaves, um, because he's he's um, still talking about this uh, this case with New West and why Annalise didn't tell him anything. So then, once Tegan leaves, someone comes to uh, Emmett's office to tell um, Emmett that the IT is calling him. So then he gets on the phone with IT, and we don't know what they what was said. All right. So next we see Annalise. So she goes over to Frank. I mean, not Frank's, but um, Nate's place. Nate's there. Bonnie's there, and. Um, Nate's there, Frank's there, and Bonnie's there. So, you know, they, again, I, like I said before, they were going over this call log from Miller's burner phone. So they pulled up, they had um, a number, and Annalise is like, who is this? And they're like, this is um, Maria Sloan from um, Philadelphia. And she's like, well, who is that? And they were like, she's the one that was over Wes's adoption case. And Annalise got mad at that point, which I did not blame Annalise. Because she's like, you know, why don't you just take a knife and bleed me dry? Because, you know, her whole thing is, I did not commit any murders, but here I am cleaning up all y'all mess. And, you know, like I said, can't blame Ellis because every murder so far, this whole entire season, not this whole entire season, this whole entire series has revolved around someone that's connected to her and all Annalise has done is clean it up but then people think that Annalise is the one who's behind all this stuff when it was the people that surround her Frank Bonnie the kids and um now Nate like it's all of y'all but she has to take the brunt of it and the blame for it so then we see New West he's still with the kids he's still up he's questioning them about um the camera he's upset about it so he's like so y'all all knew about this and you know and they are like, well, we didn't know anything about it. Laurel said, well, I knew. I'm like, Laurel, if you don't shut the fuck up, please. Like, that girl gets on my nerves. Um. So then he tells him, you know, the reason why he just he did this is because he just wanted to know uh, information about Sam. I'm like, Sam was a piece of shit. That's all he was. So um, then uh. Then he gets a phone call from Annalise. So, um, we see him with Annalise. And, you know, she's, this is where Annalise is telling him everything. You know, how, you know, she tried to adopt Wes. Um, Sam wasn't here for it. And, you know, then she says that's probably, you know, and then Wes found out. So that may be the reason why Wes killed uh, Sam. And then, you know, New Wes was like, well, I thought you said Wes was just your student. Well, he wasn't. Uh, I tried to adopt him. So what? Sue me. So then, you know, she tells him, um, what did she tell him? Oh, yeah. She tells him, um, that the governor is after her and the governor knows about this information and that the governor also killed little Nate. And that's when he, um, so, you know, she had help from, um, Miller. So then, um, Oliver and the kids are, they're leading the wedding photos. So, um, New West is saying to her, well, why come she didn't turn into governor? Which I guess I got ahead of myself a little bit. So she's telling the governor that she's telling him that the reason why she did not turn into governor was because the governor had this information on her that she tried to adopt West when he was 11 years old. And so we see, um, Bonnie, she gets a call and Frank says not to answer that phone call. And, you know, um, it was Miller's mom and she's telling him, so we see Annalise, she's telling him, telling, um, Oh, yeah, I got ahead of myself. So, Emily told um, New West why she thought uh, West killed Frank. Shit, I got ahead of myself. Okay, so then we see uh, New West. He meets up with the FBI and, you know, he tells the FBI that he wants protection. She said, cool, you got it. So, um, he tells her Miller told him Annalise tried to adopt West and, um, when he was younger. And then she, he tells her that, you know, Miller was said he was talking because she was trying to say, well, was he talking to Annalise? He said, no, um, you know, he was talking to somebody. 
somebody by the name of Lynn. I don't know who that is. Um, so then um, we had the FBI. So they had this big board, which is on my TV screen right now. So I'm looking at it. So it started out with, um, you know, Governor Lynn Burkhead. So then the camera starts to pan out a little bit. And we look at the camera. We look at the, um, it's one of those, it's a big whiteboard and has so many pictures on it. So on, so it's a, so the, oh, it has, it has a name. It's called Operation Bonfire. So it says persons of interest. So we got D.A. Miller. We got um, Governor Burkhead. We got Annalise Keating. We have Sam Keating. You got Wes. You have Wes's mom. You got Wallace Mahoney. And you got um, Mahoney's son and his wife. And then you got a dead picture. You got um, Wes's dead body. Then you got Lila um, Stangard, the girl from season one that um, Sam was having the affair with that was pregnant that um, Frank killed. Then you got um, Rebecca, the one that uh, Bonnie killed. So then you got um, Asher's dad, Judge Millstone, and you got Asher. You got Michaela. And then up under uh, Sam, we have, uh, wait, why do we have Gabriel? Well, we got New West. So under Annalise, you got um, Nate, little Nate, Bonnie, and then we got Frank. And then um, below there, you have Laurel, Oliver, and Connor. You got Michaela. Um, you got Laurel's mom and dad. You got Denver. You got Sinclair that West, um, not West, but um, Asher killed. You have Caleb Hapstaw and um, his sister Catherine, and I can't see who else you have up under that. And we got to mute this because I don't want this uh, to be um, flagged. Yeah, my eyesight is that good, so I can't really see who all is up under that. But there, um, there's some other. There's, I think there's two. Oh, you got Dominic, um, someone else that's related to Laurel, which I can't tell who that is. Oh, and then you got Simon Drake. Damn, they got Simon up there? Shit. I did not see that. But looks like the FBI has, you know, kind of pieced together everything. And when I saw that shit, my eyes like went, oh, damn. Like, that's how I felt. So then we see Annalise. She goes to Emmett's office and Emmett asks um, Annalise if she thinks she can trust Tegan. And, you know, he tells her how, you know, they got an email. Um, Tegan got an email that um, caught IT's attention. And he wants Annalise to know. Um, he wants Annalise to let him know if she sees anything out of the ordinary with Tegan. So once Annalise leaves, as she's leaving, she tells Tegan, not, not Tegan, but she tells Emmett that, you know, Tegan was the one who knew about your, um, you know, your misconduct. She never used it against you. It was me that wanted to do it. Um, so then once Annalise leaves out of the office, um, you know, Emmett is like, he calls IT and he's like, I need um, access to another employee's emails, Annalise Keating. So then um, we see um, Michaela. She's outside of New West's um, apartment. And, you know, she's like, can you let me in? And um, so he lets her in and she shows him where the camera is. They have a little conversation. Didn't really give a fuck about the conversation, to be honest with you. Because it was basically, once again, stroking Michaela's ego. So we see Bonnie. Um, she's talking to Nate about Miller's mom. And it's I think she said it's time. I'm like, it's time for what? So then we, um, you know, Annalise, she's tell going to talk to Tegan. And she's telling her about Emmett and how she needs to watch her back because something weird is going on. And she's like, does, and then Tegan's like, does it have anything to do with you? And then, you know, Tegan shows Annalise the computer screen. So the computer is saying that they have found uh, Miller's body. And then on the news, because the kids are watching the news, and they say that the FBI was at the governor's place. And Asher, he's all cocky thinking that they got the governor. And, you know, um, Laura's like, don't jinx it. So then Asher's phone goes off and they're like, is that a text message? He said, no, that's his um, IG. So then he opens his phone. And he says, Connor, you need to call your mom. And he was like, why? He's like, because your mom posted a photo of me and her with Miller 
and Nate in the background. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Here we go. So that was the end of the episode. And like I said earlier, there's only two more episodes left of the season. And then we have the season finale. So like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later.